Meet Lacey. She's a seven-month-old Aussie Doodle. This is day one of her training. Looking forward to two weeks spending with her and helping her with her manners. Join us. Oh, yeah. One of the most important things that I help Lacey with is getting acclimated to her new environment. I let her explore her environment on her terms and bond with me also on her terms. Here's Lacey doing the uh, stairs. Some dogs I get into training have never seen stairs. She obviously has. Um, so we are going to be teaching later on. Sit and wait at the top of the stairs with a command to come down the stairs or go up the stairs. This is Lacey exploring the kitchen area during her evaluation. So if I didn't want her uh, up there on the chair, I would uh, go ahead and place a mat right here, which you'll see in a few days for the place command. And she would place there and not move, for example, if you're eating dinner or cooking. Okay, so she's jumping up on people and in the next couple days uh, when we're out and about, there'll be a, a sit and wait while greeting. If you don't want her on the furniture in the coming days, you'll see I'll use the place command for Lacey to go to an object such as a rug or dog bed in this room. Today's learning is the follow command and also go play. I'm going to start with the evaluation walk. I'm looking to see where her skill level is with leash walking and then we're going to do the follow command. Here you can see the tension on the leash and that Lacey is not aware that I'm at the other end of the leash. Training has begun. The follow command, it does not matter whether the dog follows in front, behind, or to either side. What I'm looking for is for the dog to visually check in with me, no tension on the leash, and to turn when I turn.